Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Road Chose Me. Today we are in tropical paradise. Behind me over there, that's a mango tree. Unfortunately, they're out of season right now. Up above me, those are the mountains behind Cairns. So let me show you where we are and let me show you what we're gonna get up to today. We have driven literally, well, almost to the top of Australia. So from the east coast where we were on Fraser Island, we've driven through the hood vent, very good, all the way up to the city of Cairns. And you can see we're getting very close to the northern tip. But up here in Cairns, there is something very special along the east coast of Australia. This is where the Great Barrier Reef is. And so the Great Barrier Reef is the largest living organism on Earth. This is UNESCO World Heritage listed. This is absolutely stunning and I cannot wait. Let's jump on a boat, let's get out to the reef and check out what it's all about. So to kick things off on the reef here, we've just taken a boat out to Fitzroy Island, which is really not that far from Cairns at all. You can see things are decidedly tropical out here. The water is crystal clear. We're told there's turtles. And so we're gonna go snorkeling here right from shore. Jump in with us. Let's see what we can find as an introduction here to the Great Barrier Reef. Magical underwater sea angels. <laughs> They're so cute! So we've only been in the water about five minutes and we've already seen two turtles just right here offshore. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get to see some today and already there they are. <laughs> this is pretty incredible. Good morning everyone, it is the very next day and I said that snorkeling was like getting a taste of the reef. Obviously the next step is to go diving, scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef. And so today we've booked, we are going to zip out in this boat right behind me. We're going all the way out to the outer reef which is like the best of the best. Although you can see Mother Nature is not being too kind to us. It thumped rain last night, extremely heavy and we're told it's windy out there, seasickness is a concern, and the clarity, we don't know what's gonna happen in terms of how good this diving's gonna be. We had to book this thing a week ago though, it is what it is, we have to go with it. Let's go and have a look, scuba diving now on the Great Barrier Reef.
So there we go, guys. That ends our time on the Great Barrier Reef. Thanks for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed seeing just how incredible this place is. And one more thing that I need to mention and talk about is how insane Australia can be sometimes and how being here feels a little bit like being in the 1980s. So I mentioned earlier, this is the largest living organism on Earth, super important to the health of the planet, and it is UNESCO World Heritage listed. And so UNESCO listing, it's a very prestigious thing. It takes years and years of like applications and approval and all this criteria. There's a big selection committee. So being listed, it's really prestigious. Many places around the world are trying hard to get listed. And so you would think Australia would be proud of that and they would promote that and it would be a good thing. Yeah, but Australia doesn't always use its brain like that. So in 2014, the Environment Minister for Australia, so a federal politician, came up with this scheme. They wanted to dredge the Great Barrier Reef to extract some resource or other, some sort of mining operation. And so of course the UNESCO listing was a problem because with the listing comes all these protections and all these things. You know, you're not allowed to just go and cut down a UNESCO heritage rainforest or something like that. So they weren't allowed to dredge the Barrier Reef. So what did the Australian government do? They applied to have it unlisted as a UNESCO site. And UNESCO came back to them and said, wait a minute, nobody's ever done that before. Like, you'd have to be stupid to do that. And Australian politicians said, yeah, that's what we want to do. And UNESCO said, no, that's a stupid idea. We're protecting this thing because it's so important to the world. No, you cannot unlist it from World Heritage listing. And so it is still protected. But the government, of course, did find a way around it they're not dredging the main part of the reef, but they're dredging all the way around the edges of it, basically as close as they can get to it. Um, and a lot of the mining and a lot of the sugar cane that's grown here in this part of Australia, all the runoff from that runs down into the ocean and basically is slowly killing the reef. And the reef's dying as well because temperatures are rising. The water's already come up about one and a half degrees on average, and that's going to kill off all of that marine life, all of that reef structure. So if you've never seen this kind of thing in your life, I really recommend try and get here, try and get to the Great Barrier Reef or anywhere around the world, get down under the water, check it out. It is absolutely stunning as you've seen. And don't always think that Australia is some sort of like vision of the future or some sort of like really forward thinking place. Quite often they do stuff that is actually brain dead and it blows me away. And a lot of the reasons why I choose not to live here and that I'm not going to live in Australia for the rest of my life Sometimes the brain deadedness, it just overrules everything else and it's too harsh for me to deal with. So I hope you've enjoyed that episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing Down Under the Sea. Thanks again so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Now we are headed north to some of the remotest parts of this amazing continent. Things are about to get decidedly muddy and decidedly remote, as well as more crocodiles. So stick around for all of that in adventures to come. Have fun out there and maybe we'll bump into you on the road.